This week's episode is somewhat of an urgent update on the climate front. The media has been warning of rising temperatures for some time now, but the situation has become very real, very quickly for some wildlife in Mexico. It is an acute emergency in certain areas and an ominous sign of what may lie further down the road. Mexico's intense heat wave is causing a significant number of howler monkey deaths, according to the Associated Press. The Biodiversity Conservation of the Usumacinta reports that at least 138 howler monkeys have died that they know of, while others have been rescued and treated by veterinarians. Heat-related issues can be lethal for animals during the best of times, but what has transpired in Mexico recently is well above the norm. And the heat wave isn't just affecting wildlife, it has also accounted for the death of at least 26 people since March as well. Recently, temperatures soared to 117 degrees Fahrenheit in about a third of the nation. In fact, Mexico City experienced record high temperatures in May, while the deaths of the monkeys were discovered over the past few weeks in the state of Tabasco, which borders Guatemala on the southern tip of the country. In addition to the heat itself, drought, forest fires, and logging have reduced water, shade, and food availability, contributing to the fatalities. There is also a possibility that disease is playing a role. Additionally, the monkeys suffered falls from several meters up in the trees, adding to the lethality of these incidents. They were falling out of the trees like apples. Gilberto Pozo, a wildlife biologist with biodiversity conservation of the Usumacinta, told the AP. They were in a state of severe dehydration and they died within a matter of minutes. Special recovery stations have been established for the affected monkeys, as well as birds and reptiles also suffering from the heat. Efforts are underway to organize a team of specialized veterinarians to provide necessary care. Local residents have also tried to jump in and help the monkeys, especially the young ones found near farms. However, keeping howler monkeys around domesticated pets can be dangerous due to the risk of disease transmission. Once recovered, the monkeys must be released back into the wild. Below average rainfall has led to water shortages across the country, affecting lakes and water supplies, necessitating emergency water provisions, and causing blackouts due to low levels at hydroelectric dams. The deaths of these monkeys indicate broader ecosystem distress and underscore the effects of climate change. Howler monkeys are indigenous to Central and South America. There are 15 different species, and they can live 15 to 20 years in the wild. They are among the largest primates in the Americas and are celebrated as the loudest land animal in the world, hence the name. Three of these varieties can be found in Mexico, and unfortunately all of them are already at some level of risk. Mantled howlers are listed as vulnerable, while Mexican howlers and Yucatan black howlers are considered endangered. As these primates are already facing challenges, something as inescapable as a heat wave could be catastrophic to the wild population. And this spells trouble in the near future. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, 2023 was the hottest year on record, noting that it has been 47 years since they have recorded a colder than average year. They also note that while temperatures have fluctuated a bit, the 10 warmest years on record are all in the past decade. Every month of last year was among the seven hottest ever recorded. And in the second half of the year, June through December, each month was the hottest ever recorded. So far, 2024 has not shown signs of easing up. In fact, some are expecting this year to be even hotter. If so, we may see even more species begin to succumb to unbearable stress in the not too distant future. Don't stop here, find out more. Visit the links in the description below for more in-depth information on the stories presented in this video.